what does it all mean in the frantic race to the White House? Well, breaking news, we have the two main men joining us now. President Donald Trump <laughs> is live in the Oval Office. Oh, dear. Well, Joe Biden joins us on the phone from the campaign trail. Gentlemen, a very good morning to you. Joe, this is anyone's game. Can you do what Hillary could not? Well, I got to say, it's a, it's a great pleasure being on Austrian television. <laughs> now, this election is not a game. America is not a game. Checkers. Now, that's a game. You know, I once beat my papa three games in a row. That's, the, that's called a hat trick here in the States. You know, I'm going to bring, bring my championship, all my skills to this campaign. But frankly, folks, let me say this. Our current president has been running our casino like a country. <laughs> Casinos are loud, confusing. You end up losing more than you hope to win. The United States is not a casino. This election is not a game, and sarsaparilla is still an ingredient in root beer. <laughs> yes, it is. I love a sauce. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is Go this? 1880? What, what is going on here? Go ahead, President Trump. Well, I mean, what is happening yeah. here? It's, mm. it, it, does he even know where he is? Does he even know he's talking? Joe, I'm on the line. I can hear everything you Okay, and, and, and President Did you Trump, know that? your handling of the coronavirus crisis, it has been heavily criticised. I mean, what are you going to do to get America back on track? Well, first of all, it's been a tremendous success, fantastic success. We are first in every category. And when I say first, I mean last. But last sounds like a loser term. So I say first, meaning last. And everyone understands that. Everyone gets that, because everyone's smart like me, because I'm a stable genius. And we're doing incredible. And I have a lot of graphs and pie charts showing we're doing great. I don't have them here with me, but I could show them to you if you like. And you know what? Spikes are not a bad thing. Spikes are not a bad thing. I have to wear them when I golf so they can't be that bad and we're rounding the corner we're rounding the corner we're rounding the corner so much we're almost back to where we started so technically it's january so we're getting a fresh start and a fresh start's really really fantastic and it's going to be a v-shaped recovery and it's you know when i think of a v i think of winning winning which is technically two v's at the same time and it's going great and everything is opening faster than Ever before, the stock market is through the roof. Uh, America's back on track. I'm having rallies. They're calling them super spreader events. Super spreader <laughs> events. So we have herd mentality now. We have herd mentality. They're calling me super Trump. They're calling me super mm. Trump because I survived COVID and I feel 20 years younger than I've ever felt before. And everything's really, really incredible. I have to, oh, and by the way, by yes. the way, I brought back Big Ten football here in the United yeah. States, which is, you don't have football down there. You kick a ball down the field like I do when I play golf. I, I kick the ball, but I feel 30 <laughs> years younger and everything's really, really incredible, amazing. I have to tell yeah. you. Hey, amazing. President Trump, I need to ask you, because we just saw the first lady on the campaign trail, mm. but there are rumours she has a mm -hmm. body double. Huh? Yep, that there is, there is, there is a fake Melania. Was really? she the real thing we just saw? Yes. Well, the one that you saw is the real thing. The one that you saw is the real thing. But the one who travels with me, that's the fake one. That's the <laughs> fake one. She's actually much nicer than the real Melania. The real Melania, I, I think I said this before when I've been on, like the real Melania invented social distancing about three years ago. Yeah. Three years ago. So anytime I would go to hold her hand, she would just, ow. Yeah. So the fake Melania lets me hold her hand, like and she even says nice things to me, which is very, very nice. So I, I actually prefer the fake Melania over the real yeah, Melania, yeah, yeah. I get, I get, I get. Hey, Joe, yeah. just before we go, um, some are saying, Joe, that you're way too old um, for the job. How do you respond to, to those criticisms? Well, here's the deal, and hear me out. Whenever I got a problem, I think about my childhood friend, Rex. This was a long time ago, before time itself. Rex was a big guy. Now, Rex may have had green scales, ate raw meat and drooled because he chewed too many rocks, but he gave, me, he gave me great advice, especially how to avoid the tall, scary thunder rock we called Boom Boom. Anyway, I got all my faculties in check. I just got a clean bill of health and my great, 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 great grandkids helped set up this call. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> very good, very good. Oh, I love it. Well nice done, guys. Work. May oh, the best dear. man win, and we look forward to talking to you this time next week. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I know, Thank I know. You. There it is.